All right, guys, moving on to our second to last bit of movie news today. Woof, we like I said, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Elf on the Shelf uh, has now... <laughs> I don't know why Tracy's laughing, but it makes me laugh. I say elf on the shelf and she giggles. Um, Tracy, I'm just going to throw it to you. I'm not even going to introduce this segment. Elf on the shelf gets a, a, a an exclusive contract with Netflix. Um, what are your thoughts? Knee jerk reaction. Oh, you cut out there. Oh, oh no. What'd you I, just uh, ask? Ne ne uh, knee jerk reaction. What's your knee jerk reaction to hearing this news? Netflix just cut a deal, or rather, Elf on the Shelf cut a deal with Netflix. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess so. If we can have an emoji movie, we could have an Elf on the Shelf movie. Oh. Um, you know, and I think um, for all those households who do have an elf on their shelf, I think it's just going to, um, you know, I guess, you know, kids are going to want to see it. They're going to enjoy it. Hopefully it's heartfelt. But, you know, I've seen a lot of mischievous elf on the shelves out there. And so I oh, would know. Uh, yeah, they get serious. You can Google it. There's a BuzzFeed what? list out there of the worst. What, what do you mean, like mischievous elves, elves on shelves? What are you talking about? I mean, my sister's elf on the shelf, like, uh, he does some, his name is Dexter, and he does some real naughty things, you know, but it's all just to keep the kids in line. Like, uh, he borrowed Barbie's car one oh, no. night. He, um, he uh, tied up a bunch of G.I. Joes up. What? You know, and held them hostage. And, you know, like things like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Elf on the Shelf. Is, you know, and you're not supposed to touch Elf on the Shelf. You're not supposed to move him. He's, you know, uh, if you, and he watches you. That's the whole or idea she. behind Elf on the she. Shelf. Or she. They, uh, they keep an eye on you and they report back to Santa. Wow. And so, uh, uh, what's this film going to be? You know, like you could go real dark real fast. Wow. Or I'll probably just be really gonna heartwarming. Keep it, yeah, on the surface and very yeah. light and happy and family Sweet. friendly. But now that you've mentioned this, I kind of like, did you, there's a new trailer just dropped, I think, two days ago with Mel Gibson, which I have some weird feelings about because uh, it's Mel Gibson, but it looks really interesting. It, he, he plays like Santa Claus and the movie is called Fat Man. And the idea is that uh, last year for Christmas, uh, Santa Claus gave this little kid who's, I don't know why this little kid is like the head of some power organization or whatever, but he gives this little boy a lump of coal for Christmas. The little boy, like, it looks like a great trailer. It looks fun. It looks really, really fun. And he holds the coal high in the sky and he says, I'm gonna get you fat man. And then in like, like, just picture Mel Gibson as Santa Claus. He's hard. He's grizzled. He's not the happy, jolly elf that we have come to know and love over the years. He's like, he will pull out a gun and shoot someone. He's like that kind of Santa Claus. And, if, and, and then Walter Goggins is the assassin mm -hmm. hired to kill Santa Claus. And it's 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 an it's an R-rated film, so I think that needs to be expressed first. This is not a family movie. This is not a lighthearted movie. It's kind of a fun action movie for adult audiences. It looks ridiculously fun, but it's starring Mel Gibson, which I have some really weird feelings about. Um, but that aside, if Elf on a Shelf took that kind of an approach, I would totally be into it. I'd totally be be into it. <laughs> I want a dark, twisted Christmas tale. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's going to be very heartwarming. I've never read the book, so maybe I should get on that. I'm sure my sister has it if they have an elf on the shelf. Dexter <laughs> comes every year. I'm sure they when have the book. When you say Dexter comes um, every year, <laughs> it's just that puts some very <laughs> uh, murderous vibes into my mind. Right? Why is his name Dexter? Dexter? I'm. I mean, my I'm niece curious. You what? You're curious? I think I'm curious. I'm not excited about it. Will I make an effort to watch it? No, but well, here's if the it's thing. on, I, I'll watch it. I will probably watch it because let's be honest, I as much as upset as I am about 
Adam Sandler making a, a movie called Hubie Halloween. I'm going to watch it. I know I'm going to watch it. Yeah. It looks so bad. It looks so stupid. But it has my Rudolph in it, so of course I'll watch it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So with a property like Elf on the Shelf, yeah, I'll probably watch it. I And it's not just a film. There's a film and a television show being made at the same time for Netflix. So I I don't know. It it oh. could be I, well the show is animated. The show is animated, the movie's live action. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It could be I don't know. I said live the action. The movie's gonna be live action, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you remember when they did the live action Teddy is, Ruxpin movie? Is it live action? Is it just Oh, I details details no. have not been, <laughs> been made, but I don't know. I would I would love I don't know. Who would I like to see? Maybe like Kevin Hart. If Kevin Hart played the elf on the shelf. Honestly, and I'm just I'm just spitballing here. If Kevin Hart was the elf on the shelf and he was like digitally like reduced down to what like 10 inches tall or something or however tall uh the elf is, like that could be that could actually be a really fun movie if they do it well yeah. and get like a big name star like if they're gonna do it in the same style of like all their uh holiday in handcuffs you know kind of movies uh if it's like a hallmark movie you've seen holiday in handcuffs <laughs> haven't you oh it's with no. melissa joan hart and uh slater from um uh saved by the bell what's his name slater that guy uh mario lopez mario thank lopez? you so it's it's Mario, Mario Lopez. Lopez. Uh huh. Is that his name? What did you just did it? Did a name just come to you, and you wasn't you weren't sure? Anyway, so it's Mario Lopez and <laughs> uh, and Melissa Joan Hart, and she's working at this diner restaurant. Um, she's supposed to bring her fiance to like the family cabin f like over Christmas, so the family can meet her fiance. Her fiance dumps her the day they're supposed to go to uh, go on uh, like Christmas break or whatever, uh, go to the cabin up in the mountains, and he breaks up with her. And so now she's panicked and she's like, "I don't know what to do. I I can't show up. My family already thinks I'm a loser. I can't show up with my without my fiance." So she kidnaps Mario Lopez, who just walks into the restaurant to have lunch by himself. Um, he's a very handsome man. He looks very presentable. And so she finds this antique gun that's han hanging on the wall of the restaurant. She finds some handcuffs, handcuffs herself to Mario Lopez, and at antique gunpoint brings him to the cat. This is a family movie, by the way. It's a Hallmark. It's like one of those silly Hallmark, like family friendly movies. So it's all like very lighthearted. Mm hmm brings him to the cabin and now they have to put on this ruse that he is the fiance and of course they fall in love and you know whatever um it's very silly if it's if elf on the shelf is done in that kind of hallmark family friendly movie kind of way i don't know yeah mm. maybe not but if they do like if they cast i i don't know why kevin hart is coming to mind but like a kevin hart type you know, that could actually be really fun. And if the, you know, get, yeah. get um, I don't know, Samuel L. Jackson to play like the, the father of the family or like the grandfather of the family. And now he has to like wrestle with the elf on the shelf to like, don't you dare report my kids to Santa. That could, I'm sorry, but Samuel L. Jackson and Kevin Hart in a Christmas movie together. I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably going to be like, um, uh, is it Jim Parsons, who's from Big Bang? Yeah, what about him? <laughs> oh, you? Oh, I could see that. Uh, I could. See I'm that. thinking that's probably the direction they're going to go. I could see that. Yeah, just a tall, linky. Because you've seen Elf on the Shelf, right? I have. Even still, he's very. <laughs> even still, I would love to see Samuel L. Jackson like fight with a 10-inch tall oh, Jim Parsons. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Well, I'm with a Kevin Hart elf on the shelf. I'm just saying, I will we'll see which direction. <laughs> we'll see which go. direction. Uh, question is for you guys. What kind of a direction do you think they're going to go with the elf on the shelf movie and or television show? Uh, jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Also, are you excited? Like, does this silly project interest you? 
It interests me only if Sam Jackson is in it. Maybe Kevin Hart. I, I like Kevin Hart. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Jaws the Shark would want you to do. Dun 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 dun